Eye Glaucoma Presents, a video series. Hi, this is Dr. Joshi Ding to discuss Omni Surgical System for Minimally Invasive Glaucoma Surgery. I am a consultant for Sight Sciences. Omni is a mixed device which was FDA approved in January 2018. The system combines two types of implant-free procedures to lower intraocular pressure for open angle glaucomas. It treats each of the three points of resistance in conventional aqueous outflow, the trabecular meshwork, Schlem's canal, and distal collector channels. Omni's ergonomic design features a double-sided wheel which dials to advance the microcatheter out of beveled cannula or retract it back and dispense viscoelastic. Through a temporal corneal incision, the device is introduced into the anterior chamber and visualized through a gonial prism. A goniotomy cleft is created for inserting the catheter and it is advanced within Schlem's canal for up to 180 degrees. As the catheter is retracted, viscoelastic is automatically dispensed for viscodilation of the canal and distal collector channels. For titratable ab internal trabeculotomy, the catheter is advanced again, then pulled through the trabecular meshwork. During this move, the surgeon is simultaneously retracting the catheter back. Now all three layers of resistance to conventional aqueous outflow have been treated in one hemisphere. The cannula may be turned to treat the second hemisphere for up to 360 degrees of viscodilation and trabeculotomy. Now some things I've learned about Omni. For moderate and severe stage glaucoma patients, I generally aim for full 360 degrees of both viscodilation and trabeculotomy to maximize the surgery. But that requires at least six maneuvers in particular order since this device automatically dispenses viscoelastic with the first and second microcatheter retractions. If you cannot complete all steps, that would be okay. Certain times it is safer to take what you can get rather than persist in peril. If needed, pause at any point. Reform the anterior chamber. Use extra viscoelastic or even irrigate aspirate to clear your view. Be patient. Tip 2. I've come to routinely stain the TM with Tripan Blue. In the OR, visibility is often suboptimal, so make your anatomy identification as easy as possible. I inject an air bubble followed by Tripan to protect the cornea and specifically stain the angle. Tip 3. Your entry is the key for success. The beveled cannula tip easily creates a goniotomy cleft. Slight posterior pressure towards the sclera helps to widen the cleft for your microcatheter entry. Also approach with your cannula aimed up to compensate for downward curvature encountered as you advance the catheter along. My fourth tip is to extend your direct view of Omni within Schlem's canal as much as possible to confirm it is tracking properly without deviation or diving posteriorly. For 180 degree treatments, I will skew the initiation cleft opposite to the advancing catheter. Another trick is to slightly decenter your gonial lens, skewing towards the direction of your advancing catheter. The final tip is perhaps most important. Ensure you fully retract your microcatheter before the cannula exits the eye to avoid an uncontrolled whip. In the first video, I am not retracting the catheter to keep pace with my trabeculotomy. Thus, it is being pushed further into Schlem's canal even as I retract. A long portion of the catheter is unguarded and uncontrolled when the cannula exits the eye. See how it whips? This can injure iris or corneal endothelium. In the second video, note how much more tightly the cannula tip now follows the angle curvature, and I retract to keep pace with only a short lead on the catheter. You can see my finger on the retraction wheel dialing externally. Ultimately, the unguarded catheter tip is short and its trajectory well controlled for a safe exit. In conclusion, let's summarize key distinctions of the Omni device. Indications are wide, including full disease spectrum from ocular hypertension to severe stage glaucoma. The surgery is titratable live to reflect patient disease severity and actual executability in the OR. 
Omni may be a standalone surgery or combined with FACO, FACO ECP. Omni is minimally invasive glaucoma surgery in the truest sense with no retained implant and no conjunctival disruption. It can lower IOP more than other MIGs, such as iStand Inject, Kahook Dual Blade, and Hydrus. It's similar to GAT, but with much less high FEMA. Generally, anticoagulation is a no-go for Omni, but I have performed it successfully with judicious caution and extra patient risk counseling. So try it out for yourself. Thank you for listening and good luck. Want a must-need glaucoma tool that you can download right now? Grab my 2022 glaucoma medication guide in the description box below. You'll get all the most commonly used glaucoma medications right at your fingertips to help you quickly make decisions about which glaucoma drop is right for your patient. Download it now!